Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation Channel. Today, in this session, I am going to discuss about frequently asked interview questions for mobile testers. We'll cover few basic questions and few scenario based questions and few experience based questions. Do watch this entire session so that you can able to answer interview questions which are related to mobile testing and crack the jobs. Let's get started. Let's begin. What are the roles and responsibilities on a current mobile application you are testing? So this is the one of the frequently asked questions for every kind of uh, role or it may be junior role, it may be senior role or it may be more than that. So you have to explain what are the roles and responsibilities that if you are experienced person, you can explain your experience working with uh, mobile application testing. And in case if you are a fresher, just explain what are uh, that you know about uh, mobile testing or how you test mobile applications uh, like you go to play store or app store install application and you do some uh, actions on it right you explain those things and which are relating to the mobile application testing and in case if you are a senior better to explain the daily routine that how you start your day with uh, getting the builds or an uh, apk ipa files from the developers and you test it and promote to prod so explain those things in this question what is the difference between mobile device testing and mobile application testing so this is one of the uh, frequently asked for freshers who are new to this mobile application testing so they might be having some confusion so this question may be related to them so mobile device testing means testing the mobile device and mobile application means mobile application testing means testing the application which are being installed in your mobile devices and if you relate mobile device testing that comes like a testing os testing the various sensors in your mobile devices testing the hardware components and testing the os system and these are things are for mobile device and mobile applications like you download and install and you test it like best example is uh, uh, whatsapp facebook so those things are you installed from the app store and play store right what are the various types of mobile operating system and this is also a, a, a entry level question so they wanted to know how, how many os are there in the market and uh, what are they so for uh, android devices you have android os which is provided by google and ios which is provided from apple and we have some uh, os uh, on the series 40 from nokia and we have a blackberry os which is from blackberry limited and what are the latest versions of android mobile operating system uh, i can say it is for both fresher and experienced guy but more into if any experienced guy is facing this kind of question they have to very clear enough that what version they have used in the last and they have to know what is the latest version because in the latest version also we have some uh, updated versions like we have 15 again you have a 15.3 or 15.1 or 15.l so likewise you have you have to explain what is the latest version you have so currently we have android 12 so in few devices we have android device support for 12 and few devices are now still having the android level so they might be experiencing this kind of questions and for freshers you can you can tell whatever the latest version you know like if it is android 12 you can say 12 or 11 if and uh, what are the types of mobile applications so we have a few types one is native web and hybrid so what is a native so native is something which are being installed from app store and play store so which is simulating the native behavior of the application the best example is a whatsapp where you don't see any uh, responsive or uh, html pages right uh, one which is when you browse into uh, uh, web page so that is different and in the mobile native application is different right and one is which you are testing the web applications are one which is uh, you browse uh, chrome or firefox or safari in the mobile devices and you uh, do some testing in the applications right so basically those url starts from m dot facebook m dot gmail m dot yahoo so like m is appended to your url and when it comes to the hybrid it is a combination of both native and web so best example is i can say uh, flipkart ebay and amazon are the best examples for the hybrid which is a combination of both native and web 
and what is the scope of mobile applications in the present time so this is also an one uh, scenario based question and also an experience based question because you have to know the scope of present uh, world most of the percent like uh, 90 plus percent uh, users mobile uh, for their daily users and also for payments and doing the transactions even for bank transactions they are been using the mobile application and for playing for watching tv movies or everything they are doing from the mobile itself so i can say in future mobiles will take over and uh, mostly like 95 percent i guess more than uh, mobile will be taking over everything so we have few things which are like dedicated to a system like doing a coding and everything even codings are also being done from the mobile so i think that maybe goes to 95 percent also hope so explain what is the difference between the web and web testing so this is an entry level question they have to know what is a web and what is a web so where it comes to the web it is a wireless application protocol used in the network applications and when is a web is an web application testing such as uh, websites and portals that you test in the mobile device right and explain the difference between simulator and emulator so both are uh, almost similar but where a simulator creates an environment that uh, uh, behaves the internal behavior and also the configuration of a real-time device on the other hand the emulator is a duplicates uh, duplicates all the hardware and software features of real-time device so this is a little difference but both do the same purpose but we have to rely on the real-time devices rather preferring this simulator and emulator in case if you are uh, don't have a real-time devices then this is the best option that you have uh, to do and we have to know a few full forms uh, when we are working on mobile applications uh, basically we have to know two things one is apk and ipa what is an apk android application package when you are working with android application this is the one package uh, extension for that and ipa is an ios app store package which is for uh, uh, apple phones and uh, we have like executable files you know right exe file and adb is android debug bridge and how can we install uh, build on the iphones and ipads unlike uh, in the android devices you directly go and install the application but there is some settings that you need to do when it comes to the iPhones so you can install using the iTunes so because you will be getting the uh, IPA file right so that you can't install directly you have to uh, use this iTunes and there might be a different uh, ways but one of the ways iTunes and when performing sanity test on a mobile application what all criteria should be taken into the consideration so we have certain things that we need to take into consideration by using a sanity the first and foremost is installation and uninstallation if you are installing application it has to be uninstalled if either of the things are not happening then it is an issue with an application or apk file that you are handling at the moment and verifying the device of various networks you have to test in whenever you are uh, promoting to live environment then you have to ensure that application is stable in 2g 4g and 5g if it is available and even wi-fi also because most of the times you use the wi-fi only you forgot to test 4g 3g and 2g because these are the areas network areas where application might tendens to crash because of the low network uh, uh, support and uh, functional testing obviously we do the functional testing whenever we get the build and some interrupts testing interrupts testing is also an one of the uh, primary or we can say mandatory uh, sanity checks when you are promoting an application and compatibility testing like uh, uh, whenever you upload something files or an uh, uploading an image so this is also an, uh, comes under the compatibility testing and uh, testing the performance on different handsets so how it is performing on android device how it performing on ios device so you have to ensure that in both the cases it has to be uh, very stable and some negative testing uh, related to the different behaviors and difference between a multi-touch and single touch so this is also one of the uh, scenario based question because if you uh, ever worked on the mobile devices you don't know single touch and multi-touch mostly you will see the multi-touch on the gaming kind of applications and some single touch applications also you have so like uh, uh, zooming options uh, like pinch in and pinch out so these kind of options are uh, 
uh, deals with this multi touch and single touch and gaming applications are the best example for multi touch and single touch is like uh, whenever you are use, using a application like uh, whatsapp or uh, any like facebook so these are all the single touch right you cannot uh, use two two uh, touch at the same time and difference between the long touch and short touch so by default uh, there is a no concept of double click on the mobile devices uh, but we have an option of uh, uh, long press right so long press whenever you long press in your mobile device it will open the context menu so whatever the option that you select in that context menu it will perform the touch such action like generally you will see copy cut paste and uh, select all format so these are all the things that you see whenever you do a long touch so short touch is whenever you uh, click on any uh, icon or a button it will automatically navigate to so and so uh, destination and when do you choose the automation testing or uh, manual testing so this is also an uh, interesting question this may be expected for anyone even though it's a entry level or a fresher or experience so when you choose the automation when you choose the manual so if the application is a new functionality then obviously if it is a new you cannot uh, go for automation it has to be tested manually and when the application you testing when you perform only once or twice it not necessary you go for automation so when you go for automation it has to be a regression test which is being used repeatedly or a complex scenario so long scenario that you might forget during your testing so such kind of testings you can automate and how to test the cpu usage on the mobile device so how you need to monitor the cpu usage so we have some applications which will be help uh, uh, for us to monitor the cpu usage like uh, such as cpu monitor cpu stacks and cpu z some etc and what are the major networks the, to be considered while performing the application testing so you have to consider most of the networks topology like it may be be it 2g 3g 5g or even wi-fi and uh, if it is a uh, 5g available we have to test the 5g also so these are all the uh, consideration that we need to take whenever we were working with the networks and uh, i already told right even though 2g is a slow we have to ensure that application is stable in that uh, 2g also and what is an interrupts testing so interrupt testing is basically when you are uh, uh, performing some action on your mobile application you expect some incoming calls uh, sms and mms so all this are happening whenever you doing the application testing notification accessing the notification when you are testing and uh, battery drain test this is the first and foremost thing because whenever you are doing the bank transaction and uh, your phone is uh, about to uh, drain out then um, how the bank transactions happens uh, whether they do the transaction or whether they stop the transaction so you have to monitor those things and uh, these are all the criteria that you do in the interrupts testing and there are different uh, testings also involved uh, here like uh, you do plug in your device into the uh, uh, cpu and you do the data transfer and you do the application testing at the same time you will expect some incoming calls so these kind of things you have to do in the negative testing name the mobile automation testing tools uh, you know uh, so these are all the uh, some uh, uh, level 1 or level 2 guy can expect this kind of questions so they have to know what are the automation testing tools are available in the market so like uh, renorex uh, silk mobile c test apm robotium and kef and calabash so these are all the things uh, are these are the automation tools available uh, in the market you can start with uh, the best one we can say apm uh, so apm is an uh, open source you can start with it and even robotium is also an open source and calabash is also an open source so they are the good tools to handle the automation for mobiles they support uh, ipm support both android and ios and what does a test plan for a mobile application uh, contains so basically uh, it's an objective what uh, objective that you are wanted to achieve in the test plan you have to mention that and automation tools uh, so whenever you are designing the test plans you have to ensure that whether your application is undergoing the automation or not you have to list them in a couple of tools you have to list what are the possible uh, approaches that you follow for automation 
and some required features to be tested so what features you have to test so these are the major features that you need to test whenever you're dealing with a mobile application like network uh, security performance uh, size uh, battery and memory so these are all the things that you need to uh, keep in mind the features to be tested and features not to be tested is the display size so uh, you uh, have like uh, not very feasible that you have to test uh, the display size and resolution so it's not needed and test cases obviously whenever you are working with any testing you have to write the test cases and test strategy that how you start and how you ensure that testing is being performed effectively so you have to have a one test strategy how you proceed and how you have a definition of done and everything and who tested and testing time tested by test required so time required so number of resources required so how complex your application is and how many resources have to work so all these things comes into your uh, test plan what do you understand by mt and mo mo stands for message origin which is refers to sending messages mt transmit mt stands for transmission of messages referring to the receiver messages so both are like incoming and outgoing kind of messages how do you tell that application is crashed and to the developer so how you communicate whether application really crashed or not during your test it may be crashing but uh, when you are communicating to the developer uh, you have to replicate the same steps so how you deal with such scenarios so app automatically closes and sometimes you may see some pop-ups uh, so application crashes it immediately closes that application and you will see the menu again and sometimes it may project the application is crashed kind of pop up and how we need to capture and all the steps and try to recreate the at uh, couple of times if it is repeating twice then uh, we have to report this and if it is repeating only once and you are not re uh, able to recreate again and again then you have to ignore that and uh, because there may be different factors involved sometimes interruption sometimes maybe network slowness issue many things involved in the application crashes so you have to try to recreate it and uh, getting the crash logs from the device so we have an option to get the crash logs from the device so how you get it so we have like android studio and eclipse from uh, for android for ios you have a ios log and xcode uh, using the xcode also you can extract the logs of ios devices so there are different uh, uh, supports that you can do even for a you have a sdk also with that sdk we can uh, extract the logs and there are some uh, play store applications you can install in your mobile and you can check the crashes also and you have like uh, google analytics or final analytics so whenever application is promoted to live environment every crash that is happening in the live environment it will automatically capture those and put it in your analytics what are the common bugs that you would often be in found during your mobile application testing process so this is a frequently asked question for all the experienced persons so you can explain what are the critical bug or blocker bug or major or minor bugs that you've been experienced so these are all the uh, few bugs i have listed here you can explain uh, this kind of uh, issues the critical bug is like application crashes automatically when you are trying to do some certain operations or integration so uh, responsiveness is the not good it's like whenever you are navigating any checkout page uh, so page is not opening our page is uh, still hanging in the uh, previous uh, page so such kind of issues that you report in the page uh, blocker bugs and uh, you can likewise you can distinguish between your different bugs that you've been experiencing and you can explain i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and do share your questions queries in my comment box and do post a like in case if the session is useful for you and uh, do share with your colleague thank you